changes are upon us again. Stay tuned. Welcome back to So You Want to Travel, where I give you tips and tricks that I've learned along the way of being a travel agent for 22 years. Omicron, Omicron, Omicron. There's a new variant, and of course, it's causing changes to the travel Here world. Here we go again. So let's take a look and see what the cruise lines are doing to protect you as a passenger on their ships. So the three largest cruise lines, Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and Norwegian, are making sure that their passengers remain safe while they're on the ship. Princess Cruise Line and Holland America have also updated their protocols with the new mask requirements and the ban on smoking in the casino. So what are they doing? They're tightening up on their mask mandates and they require you to have a mask on indoors unless you're eating and drinking. So that also means that in the casinos, smoking is no longer allowed. Now, this is gonna go until January and then at that time, they, they're going to reassess the situation. What about outdoors? Outdoors, you're still allowed to go without a mask unless you cannot social distance. If there's no way for you to social distance and you're outside, then you will be required to wear a mask. As I mentioned in this video, the cruise lines are working very closely with the CDC because not only do they want to keep you safe, but they also don't want to get shut down again. So whatever they have to do to be able to keep selling, they're going to do. Another change that the cruise lines are making, and they've actually made these before, and that is instead of your final payment being due 90 days prior to departure, they're due 30 days prior to departure. Because that allows that window, if something does happen, you haven't paid your final payment. And this really shows how flexible the cruise lines are being with their guests because of the new normal that we're living in right now. It's very interesting to me to see how much the cruise lines are being brought up in the media. Well, there was one particular article that caught my attention about the Odyssey of the Seas. Yes, the Odyssey of the Seas had to return after a day of sailing. Why? Because there was a passenger who had symptoms and didn't tell anybody. But then the symptoms got to the point to where they turned the ship around, took them back to the port, and then they continued on. So what they did was in their protocol, again, working with the CDC so that they can get that person off of the ship and protect the remaining guests that were on the ship. There have been some cancellations with MSC crews in Europe as well because of the different closures that are happening right now in Europe. And France actually requires anyone coming off of a ship to have boosters. So that's something that the cruise lines have not implemented yet. I'm sure it's coming down the road that you have to have a booster in order to sail with the cruise lines, but that's something that they don't have just yet. So that's why MSC had to cancel some of their cruises. Now, the tip of the day is for those passengers who may be international travelers and you may be selling on Royal Caribbean or Celebrity. They used to provide a test for you on the ship prior to going back to your country, which is a requirement. Well, now they don't provide that. So you need to make sure that you book your flights in conjunction with receiving a test after you disembark. That also means that you're gonna to wanna to go to this video about travel insurance, because if for some reason you don't get that test within 72 hours, and that does happen, then you're going to have to make adjustments, you're gonna to have to rebook your flights, um, you're gonna to have to have a hotel that you're gonna to need to stay in, and that's where insurance will come in. In the meantime, talk to you later.